What's going on, everybody? So, last night I had something very, very terrible happen. What's going on, everybody? And that's something that happened was my son Ollie being put in the hospital by the evil, cruel, maniacal monster known as Music Biz Marty. Just thinking about it, I get choked up. Marty is an evil, evil human being. And I do mean very fucking evil. And because of everything, because of all the lies that were being put in my head, I ran away. Until I realized what was going on. And I decided, you know what? Ollie and Isaac deserve a dad. And my wonderful, amazing girlfriend, Taylor, that has been with me through every fucking thing, deserves to have me there right beside her. The same way that she was there for me. So yes, this live stream is not only to expose Music Biz Marty for the evil monster that he truly is, but This show is for my sons and for my girlfriend, Taylor. And Taylor, I want this first song to be for you and our sons. This song is my promise to you guys. Now, I want you guys to take a look at that stream thumbnail right now. That stream thumbnail is my two sons, Oliver and Isaac. And the reason why I chose that as my thumbnail, because those two boys, they mean the goddamn world to me. They mean everything to me. And there isn't a goddamn thing on this earth that I would not do to protect them from harm. The same way that my supporters and my people would protect me from harm. The same way that if they were in my position, if they were in my position, I know that they would protect me from harm as well. Just like they would do for their mom. Just like my family and my friends would do for me. And that Ollie, Isaac, I want you guys to know that I love you both very, very, very much. And I hope that you guys see this one day and understand that yes, I've made some mistakes in my life. I may have messed up, I may have made some mistakes, but I'm here fixing them one day at a time, doing everything I can to help you and your mom, one day at a time, every day, doing everything I can to be a better man, to be a better person than I was yesterday. For my friends, for my family, for all your aunts, all your uncles, but most importantly, for you guys.
and Ali, Isaac, I want you boys to know that I love you. Yo, Vlad, what's up, my man? How you doing, man? How you doing, brother? It's been a minute, bro. How are you? And yo, to Dallin, add me over on Discord, man. I just sent you a friend request, so go ahead and check yourself, man. Now, if you guys are just now joining, today I'm doing good, but last night I was a fucking wreck. Last night was one of the worst nights of my whole fucking life ever. Now, as everybody knows, I have a girlfriend named Taylor that I've been dating for quite some time now. And Music Biz Marty decided to do the worst thing ever in human existence and go after one of my stepsons, her children, one of my kids, one of my stepchildren. One of her kids, one of her sons, decided, he decided to go after them and tried to poison them by injecting bleach into a juice box and sending it to her in my name when I would never do that to my kids, ever. Because let me tell you right now, when Taylor found me, I was at one of the lowest points in my life. I had begun to lose all hope. I had begun to think that it was all over. I had begun to think that I would never make it out of that troll community like I did. I didn't think that I was worthy of love. I didn't think that I was worthy of being with someone. I didn't think that anybody would ever love me for who I am, despite my mistakes, despite everything that I've been through. But yet, Taylor saw right through that shit and saw me for the person that I am. She saw me for me. She saw the person I could be. She saw the person that I am capable of being. And let me tell you right now, Taylor and those two boys, my sons, they gave me a reason to fight. They gave me a reason to live again. They gave me a reason to chase my dreams as a content creator, as a musician, as a music artist. They gave me a reason to live my life again. They gave me a reason to love. They showed me what true, unconditional love truly means. They showed me what it means to be loved. Because they saw everything that I went through. They've seen the hell that I've been through. They've seen what I've dealt with. And let me tell you right now, I couldn't thank those three enough. Because of them and all my close friends that have stood by me, I am no longer in the troll community. Because as I said yesterday, that Cyrax character that you all know that Marty and them made, that's not who I am. That's not who I truly am deep down inside. That person is dead. That person is never, ever coming back ever again. Because that person that they made is not someone I ever wanted to be. So to Taylor, I want to say thank you for standing by my side throughout all this. I know it's been hard. I know it's not easy. I know there have been times where I've ran away because I got scared. Because I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to think. But Taylor, I'm here telling you in front of thousands of people right now that I'm not going anywhere. Like I told you this morning, I swear it on my motherfucking life that I am not going anywhere ever. It is me and you. 
It's me, you, and our sons, and our friends, and our family. And anybody else that doesn't like that, they can fuck off. Because it's not their life. It's our lives. It's my life, babe. It's your life. And it's our son's lives. And if anybody has a problem with me being with them, well, that's their problem, not mine. And anybody who thinks they're going to get in the way of splitting me and Taylor up, you guys can forget about it. Because I'm not ever leaving her side, and she ain't ever leaving mine. And Music Biz Marty, you will be brought down for the shit that you've done wrong. I know I might be calm now, but make no mistake, there's a beast inside that is angry and is raging inside because of what you tried to do. I mean, who just goes after defenseless kids like that, huh? Who? Who just goes after defenseless kids? Who just does that? All because you hate me, you felt like you had to go after defenseless children. All because you wanted clicks and views because you want me to rage out. Well, guess what, motherfucker? I'm never, ever, ever going on your panel ever again. I'm never giving you the views that you want ever again. Because you will be put in jail for this shit. I can promise you that. And if you don't think you are going to end up in prison for attempted murder on a child, oh, you got a long way to think, my man. Because let me tell you, you will end up in prison. And like I told you last night, I have all the proof to back up everything that I told you. I have all the screenshots. I have everything I need. And the police have everything they need to come after you. So like I told you, Nick, when I die, I know I'm not going to heaven. I know I'm going to hell. And I'm okay with that because I know I've made a lot of mistakes. Now, whether God chooses to forgive me and allow me into heaven, that's his choice. That's something I'll have to take up with him when the day comes. But if I do end up in hell, I can promise you, Marty, if I do end up in hell, because I know that's where you're going to end up. I know very well you're going to end up in hell. And if I do end up in hell and I see you there, I promise you I'll make your torture the worst you have ever felt in your whole life. Because like they say, karma's a bitch. And karma is my best friend. What you did to those kids is wrong. They didn't deserve that. Like I told you many fucking times, dude. Like I told you many times. And people here in the chat can actually attest to this. They can actually verify and back me up on this. If you want to go after me, that's fine. If you have a problem with me, take it up with me. You don't have to bring kids or friends or family into your shit. If you have a problem with me, be a man and take it up with me. Don't be going after my girl or my stepkids or my friends or my family. You don't ever do that, man. You don't ever go after someone's kids the way that you did. And you're lucky that Ollie survived. You're lucky that my son Ollie survived that shit. You're lucky. Cause trust me when I said Nick, had my son died because of you, make no mistake, I would have gladly gone to prison.
because I would have murdered you. I would have gladly gone to prison for murder. I gladly would have killed you for my sons if it meant protecting their lives. Because let me tell you right now, those boys are my whole world. I had a son once, but guess what? I'll never get to see that little boy because of my ex. Yeah, I do. I have a kid that I'll never get to see because of my ex. Because she decided to give it up without telling me, without saying anything. I didn't even know I had a son until she gave it up for adoption. And by then it was too late. But let me tell you right now, when I got with Taylor, when I got with her, and I found out that she had two beautiful, wonderful, amazing sons that I loved to death, that I loved to the moon and back, that I would give anything for. I knew that God put me in this position to be a dad again, to be a father again. Anybody can be a father, but it takes someone special to be a dad. And I knew that God put me in this position because he wanted me to be a dad. He wanted me to be with Taylor. He knew what I went through, and I got put in this position because this is where I belong with my friends, my mom, my stepdad, my friends, my family. But more importantly, my wonderful, amazing girlfriend that has had my back and has done everything she can to help me. And with our two sons, Ali and Isaac, who mean the fucking world to me. And I'm sure some of you guys in the chat right now are parents yourselves. And you guys that are parents, you can't tell me that you would do anything any different. We've been together for a good while now. We've been together for a good minute. Despite what the trolls say, we've been together for a while now. I'd say we've been together for... God... Honestly, man, I can't even tell you because it's been so fucking long, dude. And we kept it quiet up until a couple weeks ago. And then that's when Marty started to do what he did. But I can tell you right now, I know I've made mistakes in my past. I understand that I've made mistakes. Stuff that I shouldn't have made. Mistakes that I should have never have made. Things that I never should have done. And to every single person out there that depended on me, that looked up to me, that I let down, making those mistakes, I want you to know that I'm sorry. I'm sorry I made those mistakes. I'm sorry I did those things that I did. But I can tell you right now, those mistakes, they're in the past. This is my brand new start in new life. And I'm not going to let anybody get in the motherfucking way of that, ever. I'm here to right my wrongs. I'm here to fix things that need fixed. Because unlike Marty, I'm willing to fix my mistakes. I'm willing to man up and do what I need to do to fix and right every single wrong that I have ever made. And that's the difference between me and him. I admit my wrongs and I work on fixing them a day at a time. But Marty, he puts the blame on other people and acts like it wasn't him which makes him a piece of shit. Play Global City right in browser now. Now, we're going to take this up.
And as for me playing Elden Ring, unfortunately, I don't have a way to play it right now because I have a, an Xbox Series S, not an X or a One. So in order to play that, I would have to get the digital version, which I do not have. So unfortunately, that's not within my capabilities right now. Sorry. As much as I wish it was. But I can tell you this. I will indeed be playing some Warframe with some very good friends of mine. On top of maybe a little bit of Forza Horizon 5. And maybe, maybe even a few other games in the process. But that'll come at a later date. There's no one reason Mazda owners prefer all-wheel drive, which is why it's standard on every Mazda SUV. Find out with Mazda all summer long. Take advantage of this exceptional offer at Cascade Mazda. And with that being said, guys, I do have to bounce for now because I have some stuff that I need to take care of. But yo, to um, to Callan, hit me up on Discord, man. I added you, brother, so be sure to hit me up, and I'll message you back. And as for the rest of you guys, I love y'all. And to Marty. I hope and pray to God you get there. I hope and pray. I do hope and pray that you get brought down hard and fast with the arm of the law. I hope you get prosecuted to the full extent of the fucking law. I really do. I hope that you get prosecuted for the shit that you've done. And to my girl, Taylor, and to my two sons, Ali and Isaac, I want you guys to know that I love every single one of you guys with all my heart and soul. And like I told you this morning, Taylor, I swear it on my motherfucking life, I'm not going anywhere ever fucking again. You have my fucking word. In front of these thousands of people that are going to see this video, you have my word that I'm not going anywhere. I swear to God I'm not. I'll die before I walk out on you guys. And Marty, I'll see you behind jail bars, motherfucker, because that's where you're going to be. And if anybody would like to, and if anybody would like to screenshot, let me know and I'll send it to you gladly. With that being said, I love every single one of you guys. To Taylor, Ollie, Isaac, friends, family, I love you guys.